Welcome to Beam Farm Gaming, and this is our review of the game <laughs> Butterfly. Butterfly in the sky. Nice. I'd like to thank Rick over at In-Depth Gaming for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. I'll put a link to their channel up above. Butterfly is set to be released next Wednesday, January 27th for the price of $4.99. That's about the going rate if you're buying your achievements. Let's talk about that, shall we? The publisher Zitalon has been in the spotlight this last month for not only publishing easy achievement games, but going back and updating the requirements on their old games to pop easier. At the same time, they started doing title updates to add additional 1000G to each game, which Microsoft allows publishers to do every six months. Being that many of their games had been released over six months ago, they updated nine of their games to be 2000G last December, and was able to turn around and update another six games to 3000G in January most of which were under $5 each. I'm sure this resulted in a tidal wave of sales over the holidays for the achievement hunters and those quickly trying to knock out Microsoft Rewards 10,000 points for 10,000 gamer score. Unfortunately, it's not all sunshine and free Chivos for all the puppies. Microsoft came back and told Zitalon that they had violated one of their publisher requirements regarding title updates and the changing of achievement requirements. So all the achievement hunters that quickly jumped on these updates got the Chivos posted to their tags and most made out like a Hamburglar at Nathan's 4th of July eating contest. Zidlon has since reset the achievements back to their original requirements, making four of their older games much more challenging. The new achievements added going forward will be easily obtainable, so we expect them to continue to apply the TUs to their catalogs every six months up to the maximum of 5,000 G per game. This is a perfect business model for milking achievement hunters for guaranteed sales and continuing to devalue the achievement system. With that being said, let's talk about Butterfly. There isn't much to say about this game, other than the fact that I'm wasting both our bandwidth doing a 4K60. It's about as basic of a formula as a programmer can get, and still get away with calling it a game. You navigate your way through the levels, collecting all the flowers and avoiding the bees in this uninspired single-player crawl-and-collect game. There are no power-ups, no upgrades, and no real substance. Your worm has no jump function, no shoot, or climbing mechanic. The 10 levels required to complete the 1000G completion will require no real guides or no real hand-holding. But playing into the latter levels of the 20s and 30s can start to be a lot more challenging as it engages the telltale tactic of using the correct order of operation, rather than just running and gunning. Most experienced puzzle solvers will probably beat the game in the time that you watch this video. <laughs> apple Zapple! The whole layout of the static screen structure reminded me a lot of archaic games on the Apple 2G or older Nokia phones. The video speaks for itself as boring and uninspired. Butterfly embodies the whole sense of Zidalon's current focus as they continue to crank out these empty shelves of pre-Nintendo style games that I get to play on my Xbox Series X. If you can manage to get past the bland graphics and flat backgrounds, the sound style will not leave you with anything to cling on to. During my first playthrough, the game glitched and didn't play any music. I originally thought that was a bad thing. That is until my second playthrough, when I actually had to listen to the music. <laughs> I do not imagine anyone will spend more than 10 minutes with Butterfly, as we quickly grab our 1000G and move on. In the rare case that you kind of enjoy this cruel punishment, or your name is Sangrias, you might actually play through the game to the end, and if you got that far, you gotta let me know. Does the caterpillar actually turn into a butterfly? I mean, that is kind of the name of the game, isn't it? During my first playthrough, I played all the way to level 30 before I ended up checking my achievements to find out that my last achievement for level 10 hadn't popped. I restarted the game and played through to level 11. Still, no achievement. So I'm sure you all know all too well the next steps. I deleted my game, deleted all my game saves, 
re-downloaded the game and was finally able to play through to level 10 and obtain my full completion. I'm sure you won't be surprised to hear me say that Butterfly isn't going to win any awards or take its place in anyone's Hall of Fame. Hey, I don't want to be a Butterfly! But I've got a sneaking suspicion you'll find it on everyone's list of easy completions, especially as we start to roll up 2021, as the year of trading off game experiences for boosting gamer scores. I find my time with Butterfly to be a grind and honestly no fun. Therefore, we're giving Butterfly a half for being out of five. 